Hey folks, this is Vagrant, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. It is a lovely new morning, Wednesday, 10, 12, 10, 18 a.m. I've had very little sleep, it's very exciting. So the first thing we're going to do is check our mail. I can't, there's a large butterfly in the way, let's shove that out of the way. Lovely stuff, get stuck in there, great. We have some mail, yes. I did hop on briefly last night. Um... Why did I hop on? Yes, so the reason I wanted to hop on last night was to track my fossils, finally, to, to check what fossils I actually had, and what fossils I actually needed. So I went and grabbed some stuff with the Nook Mileage program as well, and as you can see, sort of dressed my character up a little bit as well, okay? Because I'm a five-year-old girl, leave me alone. Roald has also sent us a message. Sometimes I hear others talking about training their brains, but I have no idea what to lift to work my brain muscles. <laughs> I'm kind of worried I'm going to fall behind. Roald, you'll be okay, buddy. Anyways, I'm going for like the... Sexy Professor vibe, or completely asexual Professor vibe. I really don't have a preference. Hmm. We have to be careful with this one. This could very easily end up... No. Come on. Come on. Where the hell did it go? <laughs> huh. It's actually dis... Oh, it's there. Oh, I don't care that much. All right, moving on then. So we have, yeah, these are all street lights. All five of them. They're just very helpful, and we're going to want them. And I was roaming around at night last night, and I thought, you know what? This looks really nice with all the street lights and stuff. So I want them everywhere. I will, of course, show you guys. Oh, I'm going to need my phone for this video. Oh, no. I will, of course, show you guys at night time at some point. But here we go. We have our new house finally in position. This is Fauna's house. Lovingly placed precisely where it should be. Hey, buddy! Always sweaty. <laughs> My friend, always sweaty. And there's Horns Beat. We'll talk to Horns Beat in a minute. I'm gonna grab that fusel. I still need eight fossils. I do have a hookup for a few of them. I need two pieces of Spinosaurus, two pieces of Triceratops, the left Quetzal Wing, a left. Something else? Maybe? No. Dimetrodon Skull. Uh, two more. One of them is a small one as well. I can't quite remember off the top of my head. I do I do have a list somewhere. Hello, Leaf. As I mentioned a couple of episodes ago, you're currently guaranteed to get Leaf every single week. So, who did we get yesterday? Sahara. So, we've had Leaf, we've had Sahara. We're guaranteed to also get Kicks. Who else did we have on? Who do we have on Monday? I don't know. Basically, you're guaranteed to get Kicks, Sahara, and Leaf every single week. And then there's two slots left for other people. And I don't know, there's nothing I want here. I'm sorry, buddy. I love you, though. Hey, kids. How are we doing? Are you living? Yeah. I really should just always buy an inventory's worth. <clears throat> You're pretty much guaranteed to get like 50% back. Oh, 150% back. I am. Oh my god. Right, okay. I actually do want the cello. The cello's pretty cool. And I believe the grand piano I've got catalogued is also white. So we could do like an all white orchestral kind of setup, which would be pretty cool actually. What is this? Yeah, okay. <coughs> I will buy the cello, I just need to go and get a lot of money out. Do, 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 do. Got both of those. Okay, anything over here? Of course, there's nothing over here. Ooh, no, no, we resist. We don't, I'm not even going to look at that tab anymore. I'm done with that tab. The tab is over. I did do a little bit of a inventory clear out last night. Ah, oh, I did my wrapping paper again. Something like fundamentally wrong with me. Very sad. So, Argyle Fest for Fauna. What's the other thing we bought? I can't remember. Other thing we bought for Rolled. And then <clears throat> we're going to go find something for Hornsby from the collection at the house. Oh, very cool. Chatrus. Chatrus. Don't know why that's cool, but it is. Right, out of the way. Of course, we do need to move another house today as well. We're still working on our little 
residential thingamajiggy, we may be able to do some terraforming and build the ramp as well, actually. Stay there, kids. Stay there. It's got like I've got like 25 other things to do, but once those 25 things are over, then we can talk. It's gonna be great. Oh, Grizzly asked to uh, move out last time. You know, the bear. Well, obviously it would be Grizzly the bear, wouldn't it? But uh, I said no. I actually would have said yes, I think, usually. But um, we don't have his photo, and I'm determined to kind of stick to that thing now, you know, where we get their photo before they move out. I think that's a nice way to do it, so... Yeah, no, no one's no one's allowed out for a long time. It is like that meme, you know, don't forget you're here forever. That's very much the point. Now we don't need any more street lights. Anything? There's never anything I want here anymore, for some reason. Oh, maybe we can find something for Hornsby. He does want a plain cap, but not in that colour. What about the six ball T? This is the right colour. No. Meh. Do, 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 six. No. What about the sporty shit? I don't want to give him sporty shades. I just don't. Okay, then. No. We'll find something in the house. We've got plenty of stuff. It's fine. say that, but very slowly we're going to start working through this available list of stuff. Eventually, there's not going to be much left in the house. <clears throat> if this happens regularly. Anywho, back home we go. Doo -doo. And they're all in a great place, Hornsby says. Having a little fish in his little sweater. Rolled and fauna. All my favourites are out and about and readily accessible. That's how I like my men and women. Readily accessible. <laughs> Alright, let's go drop off some stuff. Gotta to remember to get the, the cello. I will forget. I have an awful. I need a sticky note. I'm gonna write cello. I've got like a little cello. I've got a notepad right next to my PC. So. Do I want a streetlight today? I probably want a couple of streetlights today. We'll keep a couple of those on us. Uh, put this away. Do do do. Do 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 Fashion and sort. Always pushes me down there. Every single time. No, that's quicker. Okay, so we have Argyle Vest for Fauna. We have Explorer Shirt for Rolled. And for Hornsby, we have something. Well, we're looking for like green stuff. I'm surprised he wouldn't wear that actually. I suppose it's more jockey. I mean, I wouldn't call the scouts jockey. <laughs> I'd say that's more normally, normal, slightly geeky, if anything, but I, I guess it's not directly meant to be the scouts. Uh, we, again, might be in a little trouble here. I might have to give him the bloody tulip hat, and I really don't want to give him the tulip hat. <laughs> what about the retro co? No. Come on, Hornsby. What about that tea? It's got a bear. No. Guys, I'm scared. I'm scared of what my future holds. And that it holds terrible hats. Oh? No. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Mod Parker, T Parker, I'm looking for Mountain Parker. There's like several types of Parker. He will literally wear four different types of Parker, and it does not include that one Parker. <laughs> He's doing this on purpose. He's mocking me. Open. <laughs> Drop my controller. All is well. <sighs> Alright, okay. Remind me I need to order more. <laughs> more Aloha shirts. So I've given him two of them now. The one we gave him yesterday was slightly darker in colour. I can end up with all of them. Can he wear the pink one? I don't think so. Hey, buddy! So, let's wrap that up. And I wrapped it in green! Ah, 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> I can't wait to touch a fish. Wait, are you guys going to talk to me? You're busy getting hench. Yeah, I'll be fine. Having a little breather. This is the time. Oh no. Oh no, the booping. The booping. Right, Explorer, that's rolled. You going to talk to me? Yeah, cool. Hey, so I wonder why that. Hmm, I wonder if it's a coincidence that it's my fave too. I, I guess the right personality types. So I've rolled a jock. Fauna is normal, so. Aww. Thanks. Okay, one down. Let's get this one wrapped as well. That's good. Stop it. <laughs> Why is drop the default option? Uh, Argyle Vest. You're going to match with Hornsby. It's going to be adorable. I need to check what their friendship levels are. I have no idea. That's so cute. The fact that they're giving presents back to me is a good sign. Aww. Hornsby! Yes, there we go. Good lad. Hornsby! <laughs> oh, this guy, eh? This bloody guy. Okay, thank you for that. And he's back to fishing. Well, I've got a present for you, buddy. I'm going to put it in the corner, and I'll give it to you later. All right? Okay, so we still have things to do. Spooky. Right, we're going to go get some money up. We're going to go get that cello, and we also need to organize the moval, which is removal without the re. <laughs> the moval of a house. Moving would be the word that a normal person would use in that situation. This ain't your papa's. Animal Crossing. Anyways, withdraw. So we need 50k for the house. We need 100. We need 160k for everything. So I'm gonna take out 90. Just so I like have about 90k spare, something like that. Wait, is that maths? No, it's not. But yeah, it is. How much have I got? 182. I'm about to spend 170. I calculated it a little. Anyways, anyways. Let's get moving. I think it's Graham that we move. I should have checked. But I'm going to trust my gut. I think it's Graham. The little... Yeah, okay. Let's do it. He's going to love it, Tom. He's going to love it. He's going to be all chippened. Geeking out about it. Look at him, adorable little son of a gun. People keep calling him a simp, and it's very hurtful to me. Graham's was the best. Okay, he's not, he's like the fourth best, but still, that's pretty good. Is he fourth? I put him fourth. Hornsby, Fauna, and Roll are the three that I've definitely bonded with most. And I'd be okay with Graham leaving, I think. But only because I'd be happy for him to go explore the world. Whereas for the main three, I'd be like, eh. Right, so I want to knit back to Mabel's as well. I'm going to pull up this uh, thing, this path pattern. If I can find it. Go click on there. Oh, oh. There you go, it's from some French lass on Twitter, I think. Anyways, we'll give it a go. We'll see if it works. I do have some design spaces available, so. Right. We're looking for... Seven, zero, one, one, eight, three. I'll do it in German. Eins, dry... Noin. Eins. I actually don't know what zero is in German. I actually don't know. I always started at one. 
I have to learn that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google it. Zero in German. Zero. Zero. <laughs> is it just zero? Oh. Is it? Noi. Noi. Is it Noi? Anyways, this is the border. Uh, this is the terracotta one, obviously. This is the brick one. They've done ones for every path in the game. What's this? Oh. And it's this one that I want. It is a lot. I don't know how necessary it is to get all of these um, to make this work. Wait, I'm confused. Where's all my money gone? Did I buy the... Oh, I've still got it, okay. <laughs> I thought I had 20k in my inventory. I was like, where did, where did I buy the cello? Is my memory that bad? And it is that bad, but it's not that bad. You know what I mean? No, Vagrant. Nobody knows what that means. Do, 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 do. It's just because we're using so much more of this path than was originally planned that I think blending it in or just making it seem less like a blend less like a blend some of the grass is probably a good idea oh boy i did not plan this out that well <laughs> i was very very close i when i sorted this out the plan was to have oh cool i spent two million bells is that it hmm. i guess it house upgrades and stuff don't count um when i planned out my money the plan was to have like 90k left over what was i thinking I have no idea. Because I think about the maths I did and none of it makes sense. Anyways, with all... Oh, God. I'm so sorry, little orange flower. Are you going to talk to me, yet, Holmes? Aww, he's so cute, though. I do really like this. Not to pick myself up or anything. Um, I'm just thinking about the houses. I was tempted to mix things up in terms of placement. But I don't think that makes sense. So we're not going to. Then we're just going to cut this one down. Oh, oh, are we though? Can I really cut down a cedar tree and feel good about myself later? Probably not. We need to go get some fruit. But that's okay, because we need to go check the left side of the map for... Do, 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 do. Yep, it's not here. So we need to go check for the bottle message. DIY thingamajiggy. Anywho. And then we can... Uh, eat. We also need to check for someone in that house? No, but it was in this house. We need to check for our daily recipe as well. See what we get. Daily recipe. I said it's three times a day you can get this recipe from a villager. Hey, buddy. You're not going to leave, are you? No. Mean polis. <laughs> I've had a lot of strange people at my island over the past uh, couple of weeks, so... All my villagers remember all these bizarre strangers that will never return. I really want a way. I can't put a bridge over the... No, I can't. I was hoping I could put a bridge over the sand. Because this, this walk around is a pain. Wait, someone is in that one. This is Pashmina's house. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> See, there you go, Dimitri from Lantanum. Obviously, we did our big turnip, gatekeeper, kind of shebang, and I meant a lot of weirdos came around. <laughs> I don't think there's anything that makes them weirdos, but still, you can actually tell by the the windows the curtains are open if someone's in or not. Be. Oh, hello. Okay, so we're gonna go to the left. We're gonna go try to get our recipe, and we're going to. What else did I want to do on the left hand side? Oh no. I actually don't know. I've actually completely forgotten why we're running over to the left side of the map. Huh, interesting. I actually don't know. Because the, the recipe was a bonus. Oh, fruit. We need fruit. Okay. Phew. I definitely would have come over here, got the recipe, run all the way over back to the right, and then, you know, basically forgotten why I was here in the first place. Hoppa. 
Stop talking about all the strangers. Stranger danger. I like his snowman though. It's interesting, by the way. Only a few house people, which is to say villagers, <laughs> actually have a crafting station out by default. A lot of them get it out when they need it, which is probably the right way to do things, but what are you going to do? Hey, buddy. Sometimes it is fun to stay indoors. Stop talking about weirdos from Titty. <laughs> what if they all started to do it? They never do this. At the very least, the benefits of making me wait until the last door means I have racked up some friendship points. And since we need 250 of the bloody things, or something like that. There we go. Good old reliable punch. Shell art. That sounds awful. I love it. Oh. Well, someone else can make a shell arch. I'm going to set up a little DIY station. I don't know how big it's going to be. And then at what point do I get rid of the spares? Because they're ruining my aesthetic. But, uh, oh, hello, cheeky. Okay, cool. And fruit. I was about to run away. I was literally about to run away. <laughs> we need fruit. I'm going to grab some spare coconuts. No, we all need some spare coconuts in our life. I, just, I think there's a rock I need to smash as well, so. Show me bottle, what have you got? A scarecrow, we already have a scarecrow. We have a decent number of recipes now, oh god. We have a decent number of recipes now, so. The chances of duplicates obviously go up quite a lot. I'm, I'm gonna do the, we're just gonna do a little test of the, the ground texture. I don't want to do it here. Actually, we'll do it over here. I just don't want to do it. I don't want to do it anywhere that I think might change. You know, we want to do it somewhere where it's going to stay like that forever. So let's have a little look if this even works. Because last time I tried to do this, it didn't work. So we're looking for right. It is such a painfully slow process. Imagine, I mean, I think it looks quite nice, but I'm just, I'm trying to imagine doing this everywhere. And it just makes me sad. I just can't imagine doing this. It's going to take a bajillion years. I guess you can work on it bit by bit. It's not like a high priority thing, is it? Is it worth the slots, though? It's also the question. Hmm... Hmm, I don't know about this. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below about the path. Do we go with the the edging? I am I'm tempted to say no, but I'm going to leave it there for now. I also want to go check out the turtle farm. But first, we must kill the tree. But it does not know what it has done. Just chow it down on a coconut. Not a problem. Just, just eat a coconut. Skin and all. Look. You impressed with my feet of brute strength book? It's a good. I actually think they've probably done it on purpose. That the lesson is, you know, eat fruit and you'll be big and strong and healthy. That could legitimately be their idea. It's true. People give fruit. Uh, fruit has had a really bad rap over the last few years, and in my opinion, it's utterly ridiculous. Because fruit is quite high in sugar, and sugar is fairly rightly now being demonized as the real cause of, you know, obesity, blah, 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 blah. People blamed fat for a long time, whereas in reality, there's fat is a healthy thing that people should probably get more of, like, you know, good fats anyway. But generally speaking, fat is not the enemy. Fat doesn't make you, doesn't have effects on your insulin levels or stuff like that in the way that sugar will spike it. However, some natural sugars and, you know, fruit, for example, it's okay to have some bloody fruit, all right? <laughs> like, it's fruit. It is very healthy stuff. It has lots of great vitamins and blah, 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 blah. And just because it's got a little bit of sugar in does not make it the bloody enemy. Stop eating breads and stuff and eat fruit, all right, if you want to go in that direction. I don't even care if you want to eat bread. My point is, stop. Just leave fruit alone. <laughs> I just feel bad for fruit, okay? Anyways, all right, so that's the back level. So this level here... That's where the house has to be. I need to mark this in something else, because my system has become very confusing over time. Is 
So that's where the back of the house goes. Yeah? One game, up we go. Yes, okay, cool. So that's the back of the house, and then it lines up with this one here, I think. I'm still harboring some paranoia about ever getting this wrong again, but I believe that this, let's do this in brick. Nope, wrong, oh, for God's sake. No, wait, no, that is right. I believe that should be the back of the house, the back right of the house. Unless I've gone nuts. No, I haven't, okay. I'm gonna commit. There should be three gaps there. Yep, okay, cool. Let's go for it. I pretend I know what I'm doing. Nearly. Might have to budge out of the way, buddy. You're about to get crushed under a big old load of construction. Uh, yeah, cool. Just glaring at me. Oh, no, he's happy for me. Thank you. Aw, pal. Right, with that done, we can now set up for Fauna's house a little bit. Not Fauna's. Who's this? Oh, it is Fauna. We can now set Fauna's house up a little bit nicer. I do think we're going to change things up with this one, so let's get rid of all this on the right, but I think we're going to terraform in the middle. I think it would be nice to have like a little water feature, and just to change things up a little bit. The houses are still in the same positions, but to do something different with the space available to us, I think it will be cool. And cool things are cool. We do need to get rid of that tree. That's an evil tree that must be defeated if we are to survive the winter of our malcontent. Okay, cliff construction kit. I'm having to keep cutting the video in weird little... Like, I feel very strange today. I don't really know how else to put it. I'm just in a bizarre feeling and I feel like half the things I'm saying aren't making that much sense, I guess. Um, hopefully it's okay. <laughs> I think this is going to be pretty cool, actually. Hmm. It is only going to be one wide, isn't it? It's not It's not a thicky, it's a thinny. It's a little disappointing. Oh, it might look a bit weird. Hmm. That might look better. I mean, this is okay, because this is going to join in with the top level anyway. Of course, we're building that up. It's going to be a ramp over here. Oh, what's up, buddy? Oh. Okay, there you go. Um, <laughs> there's going to be a ramp. Oh my god, we are way tighter on space than I thought we were. This is going to come across here. Sugar, sugar, sugar. And there's going to be a ramp here. Takes you up. Wow, that is really tight. Not in a good way. And look, I've said this so many times. You never have as much room as you think you do. You just never. <laughs> Everything takes up so much space. You can cram things in if you want, but we tried that with this housing and it just never looked good. And it looks fine. And what we can do is we can link that little stream in with the rivers that will be up at the top. Maybe. I'm just going to make a little pond. If we can get out. And then we're going to knock in the corners. Nice and simple. Like so. It's going to look nice, I promise. I promise. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be cool. It'll be like, wowzers, vagrant. It's a sexy water feature you've got there. I wish I lived in your magical made-up kingdom. And they were like, yeah, I know. Everyone does. Everyone does. Um, the only problem is the fencing in front of this. How am I going to integrate that? Oh, maybe we get funky with it. I'm a funky person. Ah, no, we can't. Right, so what I was going to do... No, this is annoying. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, we have an issue here. Is it an issue? Am I making it an issue? I am making it... No, okay, okay. What is... <sighs> I'll explain the problem if I just keep making noises. Because this is symmetrical between them in a way that this... I mean, this is a swell, but in a different way. Does that make sense? Am I making a problem out of nothing? Sort of. Um, 
No, it's fine. It's fine. It's just it's just that that path is going to be closer to this than this path is because of where the because the doors are placed on the right hand side of the buildings, and I think that might look a bit weird. <laughs> that's all, that, that that is that's the problem, <laughs> to be honest. The paths are um, <clears throat> one space to the right rather than perfectly centered. What I'm thinking is we could put a little dip in the path, like a little bend. Maybe. <clears throat> Bloody Mora. We'll make it we'll make it work. As long as we do the same thing on both sides, it's gonna look fine. So what I wanna do is I'm just gonna start the hedge from the right. We're gonna leave the left side open. Wrong. There we go. And that comes out by two, right? Yeah. So keeping some synergy with the bottom, but also bringing in their own little style is the idea. Eh, whether we keep it or not is whole of a kettle of fish. I might just end it there. I'm thinking this 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 upper area is probably going to want to stretch. Oh no, one more, one more. It's probably going to want to stretch across here, so maybe the back of the house is just going to be the higher terrain, and maybe that'll make the water feature blend in a little better as well. So that might be what our house looks like. I might put a little bit of fence. I don't know what this is going to look like. I mean, we could block this off completely. Maybe that's okay, actually. Yeah, that's probably okay, actually. It is going to be lacking a little bit of symmetry. But not in house position. I, I think that's going to look pretty cool. And then, if we grab this... Let's just do this back bit as well. I just didn't want it all to look the same, you know. I'm not here to make some regimented. It's not. It's not a, it's not a camp, a concentration camp or something. It's it's meant to be a nice, happy place. Not that these, like, manicured gardens would look like one. But the point is, I, I want the houses to have some individual personality, you know. I just want to put the bloody dirt in the right bloody place. <laughs> Getting there. Oh. Music just stopped. I think we just hit 11 a.m. If I stop moving. Yeah, there it is. And then the bells obviously get ringing for Christmas Day. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's cute. And there'll be something over here. I think the path isn't going to go this way, so. What we can do is. We could even give Fauna, because of, because of the situation. The situation. <laughs> we could give her like an elongated garden that goes like all the way over here. Or we could do like a little mountainous path that sort of follows you down here and down to the beach. That might be a good idea as well. I don't want to block this area off, otherwise you can't get around. But let's start. Let's start. I was going to give her a tree. It's optimistic. Yeah. I mean, we can push this out and it would be fine. Here, a balloon. Hear its call? Listen closely. Oh, oh my god, hello. <laughs> hmm, I need to think about that. I, I kind of want to give her a tree. Oh. Hornsby, Hornsby, finally. Glory, glory, hello, you Lula. There, there you go, there you go, my friend. If one of you three could get fleas, that'd be great. It's one of the better ways to get points. Stop calling your clothes crusty. <laughs> Just this cap, wow. What are you saying? Oh, okay. Right, I should have I should have done this afterwards. The present is floating towards the ocean. Oh no. Look at that. Shwing! No problem. Uh right. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Table setting. How exciting. Um yeah, I think we're gonna push this out by one. And then I can give her a little tree in the garden. And it's just, it's more interesting because it's a slightly different size than the others. As long as the houses are in the same position, I think it's cool to then mess around with the other aspects. You know, it's, it's very cool. If you were at school and you're trying to get in with the cool kids, and they were like, well, why do you deserve to be one of the cool kids? I was like, well, I gave Fauna a bigger garden than everyone else. And they were like, whoa, you are 
one of the cool kids. We have nothing left to teach you. That is the exact situation that we're talking. If you're watching this and you want to get in with the cool kids, just tell them about Fauna's Garden. Trust me. Speaking very much as not one of the cool kids in school. <laughs> Better to be smart than cool, eh? Um, I'm gonna move this tree. Nah. Oh, actually, hmm, what type of tree do we want to get fauna? Maybe it is one of those ones instead. I think the cedars are nice, but they kind of... Yeah, I don't know, the cedars don't have the right vibe for this area. I think the softer, lighter green is better for this kind of part of the level. Which, considering my utmost love and affection for the cedar trees is mildly surprising. If hiccups. If hiccups. There we go. Very cool. We could even put a little hedgerow behind her house on that top level. Yeah, this is fine. I don't mind that at all. Because that's going to be like a rougher path. That's not going to be like a. That's not going to be like this. So that's going to open up. I'll probably do what I did over here. Over on this side as well, and then you'll just wander off, and there'll be a path down here somewhere. Because this is all going to be blocked off anyway. This is that, and this are going to be linked together. So, I have a very itchy nose. Gurk. Okay. Um. Yeah. Also, it needs some weeds and stuff like that. I just don't have any on me. How long are we in? What time are we in? Long time, right? Yeah. Long enough. So, not a bad start. We can do the extra details on that tomorrow. No, I'm going to cut... I don't know what do you think. It's another one of those videos where I feel like I haven't done anything. <laughs> oh, let's just go get some bloody flowers and weeds and stuff. Come on. I'm going to cut down some bits earlier in the video anyway. What about, a little, what about a little bush? Let's give her a little bush. That's not a sentence I'll be saying again. <laughs> we're done with that sentence. We're officially done with that sentence. Jesus. Right, there we go. Fauna would love those. And I think a couple of these yellow ones. Or just not in the slightest. Yeah. I think I need to integrate more bush into my design. I'm going to let that one sit there as well. Let's go grab some weeds. Although I am actually running out of weeds. A common problem during quarantine, but um, yeah, we are we are actually getting a little bit low. I did a little collection the other day, but I've been spending so much of it on hedges that never mind the sticks, but the weeds themselves are starting to run out. Let's have a look. Do I even have any? No. Actually, don't. Okay. Well, wait, 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 wait. Maybe. What are you organised by? Oh, there we go. No. Okay, let's go get some. Do 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 do. Just want to make Fauna's garden look a little nicer, and she's she's a deer. I feel like she would be. I'm not gonna put anything like man-made in the garden. I feel like she would be one of those quite integrated into nature. You know, what am I gonna do with all these flowers? They just spread off their own accord. <laughs> they really do, they literally do spread off their own accord. There's not much you can do about it, other than not have them in the first place. I'm tempted to do, um, there's a thing you can do with your, uh, with your rocks. People have been posting about it for a while now. We're in, oh, yeah, we need to, we probably need to go to a Nook and Miles Island, just for the purposes of weed. Oh. Anyways. There's a thing you can do, wherein if you place mannequins around your island or other things, basically if you block available spots on your island for rocks to spawn, you can grow like a little rock garden, essentially. You can have all six of your rocks in the exact same place, or like in a, in a little grid of six. It's really, really cool. It, it looks great. Um, but the problem is you have to cover your entire island in mannequins, or... Well, mannequins are the best idea, but you can, you can use other stuff if you wanted. No. <laughs> Every time... Yeah. Um, I have been tempted to try it out, but 
the problem is it's very difficult if you don't time travel because what you have to do is smash all the rocks first of all to get them to spawn in the right places and rocks only spawn one a day so if you're not time traveling let's assume you get it perfectly right and you're not time traveling it's going to take a minimum of six days to make it happen it's quite a long time it's almost, it's almost sinking am i going crazy i keep hearing it we, i'm being like lured into the ocean by a siren not for the first time Hmm. Mildly suspicious. I'm not sure about this. Maybe this would look better as... Yeah, I'm going to try that instead. It's blocking that view too much. So I'm thinking... Thinking. That one there. Maybe make this wooden instead. Yeah, that's better. It's nice to mix it up a little bit, you know? Okay, yes, that's the plan. Because because then I can plan the ramp around things. So it'll be easier. This was a terrible idea. Okay, thank you for joining me. Um, <laughs> I'm going to cut all of that out because it's all nonsense. Basically, I was going to put a ramp in and I decided not to put a ramp in. It was very exciting. Thanks for joining me. Cheers, much love as always. Bye-bye.